In this lecture, we're going to be learning about virtual environments. Now, this is a great tool for you as a Django developer, not required by any means, but it's used a lot in the Django community and definitely encouraged. So what a virtual environment does is it allows you to, whenever you create a new Django project, sort of have your own space for that project where you can install anything that you need that's specific to that project. Uh, maybe you're using a certain version of Django. Maybe you need a certain tool that's going to be installed there. But the idea is that each project can have its own little world. These virtual environments sort of create like a little sandbox where you can create all these different plugins and stuff and it only lives inside of that world and so it doesn't have to affect your other projects. So in order to make one of these we have to go to our terminal. So let's go ahead and open that up. And in your terminal uh, you want to use pip3 in order to install virtual environments. So let's do pip3 install virtual env just like that. So go ahead and hit enter on that. And that's going to go ahead and install it, get it on your computer. And then once that's there, you got to decide where it is that you want to save your virtual environment. Now, I always recommend having your virtual environment not inside of your project, but in the same area, sort of like right next to it. So for example, if we're going to be putting this new project onto our desktop, let's do CD desktop. Uh, I want to create my virtual environment there. And I also next to it want to have my project folder. So uh, to create a new virtual environment, all you have to do is type virtual env, and that should autocomplete now if you su successfully installed that. Uh, and then you just have to give a name to your virtual environment. Now, there's no, this is the absolute name that you should be using, but typically people will say something like my vnv or venv, uh, but you're just trying to specify this is my virtual environment, whatever it is. You don't ha even have to use the words my, you could name it eggs for all you wanted to, but just give it some sort of name so that you realize this is a virtual environment that you're dealing with. So I really like the name my vnv, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and create that and hit enter. So what this is doing, you can see it's already made this directory. This is where we sort of have this new virtual space that we can have our project live in. And so it's going to take a little bit of time to set that up. But look, that's all done. And now in order to sort of enter into this virtual environment, we have to activate it. So the way to do this, again, this is one of those specific things that you got to type out here. Uh, and if you don't memorize that, don't worry. But we're going to type source space. Then we need to get to this virtual environment directory. So my VNV, the name that I gave that, then bin, and then activate, just like that. So we're saying source space, get to the folder, slash bin, slash activate. So go ahead and hit enter on that. Now, a quick note for Windows users, to activate your virtual environment, you don't have to do that source. You just simply state the name of the whatever your virtual environment is. This directory you can see here, I still did my venv on my desktop, but you just say my venv slash, and then you want to do capital scripts slash, and then activate. Just type that, hit enter, and now you're in the virtual environment. And just like in Linux and Mac, you can say deactivate, and it will get you out of your virtual environment. But if you want to go back, just enter in the same command. And this essentially brings you into the virtual environment. You'll see now that you have in parentheses, my virtual environment. So something that's pretty cool uh, that now that you're in this virtual environment, look what happens when I type out Python. Uh, it automatically loads me into Python 3 without having to type out Python 3. That's pretty neat, isn't it? I can go ahead and hit uh, exit on that with the parentheses to get out of there. Uh, if you ever want to get out of the virtual environment, all you have to do is type deactivate, just like that. And you can see that my virtual environment was is gone now. And just, just to kind of show you here, when we were in the virtual environment, if I typed out Python, it brought me to 3.6. If I type Python out here, it takes me to 2.7. So it's kind of cool when you're in your virtual environment, you don't have to specify Python 3. So let's go back. Do you remember the, the keys for this? We're going to do source my vnv bin activate there we go uh, so now that we're in here uh, we're going to have to install everything that we need uh, and so this includes like django and all that stuff so let's go ahead and try to create our uh, project here on our desktop remember we want this to be a portfolio project uh, so we're going to say django admin space and then we want to say start project and we want to give our project a name. And so let's go ahead and name it something like port 
Folio. I think that's a good name. So we'll go ahead and do that. And there you can see it created our project there, the portfolio one. But if we move into our project, so I'm gonna say CD portfolio. If I do an LS, you can see it's got like the manage.py like we were hoping for. If I try and say Python manage.py and run server here, it's gonna say, whoa, I, I don't have Django installed. Like I, I can't make this happen. And so we actually have to go through and install Django uh, in this new virtual environment. So let's go ahead and do that. We know how to do that, right? The other cool thing is inside your virtual environment, you don't have to specify pip3 either. You can just say pip and it will use the pip3 correct one. So we can just say pip install Django equals equals 2.0.2. .2. Okay, go ahead and hit enter on that. And uh, it's gonna go ahead and start downloading everything. So while this is going, the next thing that we wanna do is uh, we wanna get this set up as a Git directory. And before we run the server, this is kind of important that we do this before we run the server, uh, we're gonna be adding something new called a Git ignore file. So I'm gonna leave that as a separate lecture, uh, but just go ahead and let uh, this install finish of Django there inside of your virtual environment. And then we'll talk about Git ignore in the next lecture.